Hey guys, Lord Redstone. I am uh going to show you a couple of things right quick. I am doing a hopper timer based off of an ethos hopper timer. And there's a lot of videos on these things, except for mine's just a little bit different. This is Philly Office Design, it's just silent. There's no way you can expand on it because of the the torches and the redstone dusts and the powered blocks all beside of it. There's really no way to expand off that uh, unless you want to make it ungodly big. This is Etho's famous hopper timer video from six years ago. And all I did was look up Minecraft timer. And 25 circuits that that you should know by Mumbo Jumbo. He featured this circuit. Uh, six years ago in 2013 after Etho came out with the hopper timer code. Crafters came, came, in, came up with a way of putting them together. And ever since then people have been coming up with a way of stringing them together. This one right here by Seth Wing is really really awesome except for one small problem it doesn't reset you and you have to do a bunch of funky stuff with a budded redstone torch to get it to reset okay which I'm pretty sure there's a workaround and they they did that just to get it into a 5x5 five five, which is okay um, it's 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 alright but uh, it's still really hard to expand off of because of all the dust and powered blocks and redstone torches around it okay um, Another guy that came up with a pretty good one. This is basically an Etho <laughs> hopper clock. Okay, and uh, there was another really good one by, I think it, it was by uh, Zoomavoid. You type one. Look, this guy, Il Mango, a year ago came up with an adjustable one hour clock for 1.13. Um, my, my clock lasts about three days, and it's adjustable from one second to three days. And... It, it really resets all by itself and all that good. I'll show you how it works here in a minute. I wanted to show you the last few of these little timer deals. That's a five minute timer. That's the classic spit out a, a chicken egg and let it despawn timer. Okay, and uh, basically they just go into reinventing the wheel, eat those hopper timer. Uh, like I said, uh, I, was, I had the video here somewhere, I thought, but Zoom Avoid found a really nice awesome way of putting these things together to where they could they were completely 100 percent uh tileable it was pretty cool this is, there it is right there three years ago etho hopper climber uh, hopper timer and it's uh tileable right here and it was a really really awesome video let me see if i can click onto this and kind of show you what i mean uh, Hello everyone and welcome okay, to the now, 20th three, day of our Redstone really really Advent Calendar. Be, those really really can't be expanded upon because of all of this, these powered blocks and torches and all that. I mean they can be but it'll be ungodly huge so it's, it's kind of hard to do anything else with that. Okay and I'll show you what I mean in a later, later video where I used the same clock I'm about to show you and I made a mob timer. Okay, so now that you see see what you what you have to deal with, and how expensive and ungodly huge these things can get, and uh, complicated they can get coming with uh, budded budded redstone torches and all that good mess. Let me show you a very simple, adjustable, easy to use, re a self resetting hopper timer. But this one right here goes from one second all the way up to three days people did the math on it myself it, it, if it's right at three days anyway that's that's the and I don't mean Minecraft days I mean three real life days but who needs an ungodly timer that long um, I mean it's cool and all but no you don't need one like that but anyway to use this thing all you have to do is put in the desired amount of items in here and your desired mining items in here. Now think about it. You can make this one timer last five minutes. And every time it, do, it does one revolution, this dropper would release one item. Okay. Now right now I've only got it on a short little timer, which you know goes to show how, how short of a timer you can make with this thing. Actually, you can make it smaller, but eight items you get it. Okay. So let's take this out right quick and put those right there. And I'll show you how you get it started. All you got to do is just get you a stone button. Uh, you can power this just by putting a block right there and putting a stone button on it and then pressing that button just like so. But anyway, it starts the timer. 
and all of the items will filter out of here and it'll filter into this hopper right here which is being powered by this redstone block and after this gets its last time yeah last item out and goes into here it'll self reset when that comparator turns off powering the topper hopper timer right here and stopping it and allowing your items to filter back through and go into now I don't think you can make this any smaller I, I've tried and tried and tried to and I don't think you can make this any smaller or more compact with less resources um, I, I, there's there's just too many things that this thing does it self resets and it's all pushable I mean programmable and you can start it at the push of a button so I, th I think this is the best we can hope for out of this now if anybody knows of a better design I mean uh, um, you can look through the videos I just showed you and I highly doubt you'll find it but uh, please feel free to uh, go ahead and correct me down there in the bottom until then just give credit where credit is due and keep this in mind as the best hopper timer system adjustable hopper timer system you could possibly get okay and without any further ado let me show you how this thing is built so first you want to put down your blocks wherever you want to put your timer okay and then let's go ahead and get out our uh, hoppers here put them in the middle that's what makes the whole thing kick off you know how that works go ahead and put you some comparators right here into your output block and put you some dust just like so then you want to grab you some sticky pistons and put them where they go you know how that goes go ahead and grab you this is an ether ether hopper timer people we'll go ahead and put it together just like you know and we'll get a 60 or 8 item set up here just like we had a while ago alright grab out some go ahead and grab out some uh, <laughs> uh, uh, droppers there excuse me and point one this way in that block facing into this dropper that's pointing up then you want to take you some more hoppers and you want to go in the top go all the way around just like so and the next thing you want to do is go ahead and place your comparator down right here a repeater down right here put you redstone lamp right there an observer facing up a sticky piston facing up come down here place a sticky piston facing down with a redstone block right here and to shut off your little timer you want to go ahead and put a few items in here okay that will shut off your timer okay and then you want to just grab another observer block right quick and come up two blocks and that is literally it that is the whole thing right there stupid simple easy easy to use adjustable just by putting items in or taking them out from these two places right here and you can start it all at the push button it self resets it counts through your items and it's 100 percent adjustable I, I don't know how it can get any better than that but if you like this video please do me a favor reach down there and hit that like button um this was not very very easy to design i've I come up with a design something somewhat similar to this but it was ungodly huge and I wanted to have all the amenities of the same one that I had on my mob grinder. The only thing is that I don't have is the the timer on how to uh, set off the uh, the the water dispenser. I'll show you how to set that up later. But this timer right here will go good on anything you've got. And it'll pretty much fit anywhere. I mean, look at it. It's stupid simple. Really, really small. You can just stick it in a wall somewhere and heck, give it onto the floor. Anyway. I'm Lord Redstone. Please do me a favor. Reach down there. Give me a like, comment on the video. And until next time, see you later. Goodbye, everybody.